Oh, yeah, my best friend is a Muslim. He is from Fiji. Oh, we're doing Mitsu mirrors. Uh, I don't like this mirror as much as I like Asta. I need to play not Asta? You can play Asta. Does that mean I look younger? Definitely. <coughs> the glasses make you look older. The long hair makes you look older. I am hard carried? Not at all. Astaroth is not a very, uh, not a very good character to immediately get good at. Versus, like, what you could have for some other characters. Oh, hello. Not enough there. Gotcha. No, I don't. Gotcha. Nope. Okay. I just love how Mitsu's verts have, like, no tracking whatsoever, because I saw you go for it, and it didn't work whatsoever. Gotcha. Boink. <laughs> Your Mitsu custom looks so cool. Oh my god, thank you. I spend, uh, I spend more time than you would think adjusting my Mitsu customs. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Ooh. Gotcha. Over here? No, I don't. Gotcha with one of those, though, because I can interrupt your slow attack. Gotcha! That's a horizontal mid! Me with Amy, like 70% of my customs are for Amy. Yeah. Most of my customs are for, I think Mitsu, Asta, and Hilda all have 15 apiece. And then I have one... I have nine for Setsuka. I believe I have nine for Huang. Ooh, good shit. Ooh, good shit. I'm waiting for the moment to interrupt that because he's actually, like, very minus there. If I block one of those, he's, like, minus... Shit, 22? He's incredibly minus. Gotcha. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn, he got me. <coughs> I had some Muslim friends in Need for Speed. Good players. I'll have to get back to the series when they release a new one. New Need for Speed? Are they releasing a new Need for Speed? This motherfucker's getting hit and then just immediately going in. Wait, you don't like my glasses? I didn't say I didn't like your glasses. They make you look older. If you're asking me whether or not the glasses make you look younger or older, I think those glasses make you look older. Gotcha. 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 There we go. He eventually got away from it. Alright. Ooh. Ah, I'm too far away. I like the glasses personally. I Yeah, I like the glasses. They just, they make you look older. They make you look more distinguished than your usual self, which looks like a uh, aspiring steakhouse chef. Thank you, Mr. Pants, you delicious doctor. Is Pants a doctor? He's getting his doctor at this man. Oh, I thought I'd be able to catch him. I could not. Hello, Splatoon music. Because I'm that guy, apparently. Uh-huh. Hello. Ooh. Good shit. Can't get me with that, but I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Okay. It's gonna block. Nothing bad happens. Literally, actually, nothing happens if I block. <laughs> I'll fight you next, mighty man. Got you, son. Eventually, I did want to do a just chatting section, but I wanted to have a... I wanted to do something else instead. Wow! Incredible. What a god, this guy. <laughs> he landed the unblockable, but at what cost? <laughs> Always looks funny, don't it? 
Oh, that Mitsu range. You love it. You love to see it. Nah. Technically not even all the way a mid. That's the best part. The part where it's not even all the way a mid. It's alright. I don't blame you. Everybody misses that online. It's not easy to get online. Oh, wow. I walked to your weak side and I still got hit. <coughs> fucking Mitsune is terrible. Fucking, uh... Fucking Mitsune is terrible. Fucking, uh... I'm here. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for you to make an error because I know that's what you're looking for. <laughs> you're looking for the ability to hit me with 236 people's K. It's just not very good, so I'm just going to do a lot of safe shit. Oh. This won't kill me because it scales really harshly in uh, guts like that. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of Mitsurugi shit is uh, super, super heavily scaled in Guts. <coughs> For example, that uh, Shura Blade lethal hit from back grab into 1BB normally does 80 damage outside of uh, outside of Guts. It does 54 damage when he's entered in Guts. Because the game just hates you. Oh, you're minus 14 when you land that water titty. You land 1BB and you're minus 14, so it's actually not your turn to press anything. I know it seems like it's your turn to press something, but it's not. In fact, I can actually... Oh, no, sorry. You're not minus 14. You're minus uh, 10, I believe. If you land 1KB, you're minus 14. Ooh, hello. He's just going to do a bunch of grabs. Despite saying he didn't want to play Asta, he's just running up and doing grabs. <coughs> if you're going to run up and do grabs, you actually literally might as well play Asta. <laughs> Asta does it better. Uh-huh. Oh, hello. Ooh, hello. All right. Gotcha. There we go. His Mitsu basics are pretty good. Negative on hit should not be a thing. I think negative on hit can be a thing and should be a thing for a lot of attacks, but being punishable by supers or punishable by jabs when you're made a correct guess definitely should not be a thing. Because you look at Mitsu and he lands this attack, 1BB, one, one and he's minus 10, and you're like, well shit, there are characters that can literally actually just jab me. So that's crazy in that regard. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then the jumping kick. No one ever expects the jumping kick. It's weird that a weapon-based series Japanese or not doesn't have a standard broadsword user and Geralt doesn't technically count. Mm, I think it's because we're probably at this era in the, what, late 16th century, late or early 17th century, wherever we're at, uh, where broadswords still commonly used all over the place. You gotta keep in mind, this is when rudimentary arquebuses were already, like, out and about. Like, a, a pistol and a rifle were already, like, running around. You know what I mean? <coughs> I watched Kajur get started the late 16th. Yeah, like, rudimentary firearms are already seeing mass production. In fact, Mitsurugi, the whole the whole deal with old timeline Mitsurugi was that <laughs> people were dissatisfied with bodyguards that were running around using katanas because they're like, why well, can't just hire dudes with guns? And Mitsu had to fight the Tanegashima, which was a Japanese rifle, in a fighting tournament, and he lost, and he was like, man, guns are bullshit. Mitsurugi's entire thing is just, man, guns are bullshit. Ooh, hello. Ooh, got me. Not well, but he did. Do you press here? You don't. I can kick you. Ooh. Ah, a little slower than I anticipate him to actually go. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh-huh. And one of those. 
Gotcha. I knew he was going to do one of those eventually, but I didn't break the grab. Mitzi be like, guns OP. Please nerf to I-40. Yeah, literally. It's like, guns are, guns are fucking crazy. Finally, someone else who knows that I am not alone. Talking about what? That guns are OP? We all know guns are OP. Of course they're OP. They're, they're a projectile that fucking is unblockable. That can also travel a great distance. There we go. You can't break all of these, baby. You can't break all of these. Gotcha. All right. No, the timeline, you goof. Oh, the timeline. Phew. I thought you meant that fucking guns were cool, and we're like, we know they're cool. <coughs> we just don't want them to be a, a main staple of the series is guns. Hello. Uh-huh. Oh, hello. Oh, you got me. You gotta hit me with the A slide B, though. That A slide B? It's quite good. Gotcha. Man, this move is so grab. So, so, so garbage trash. Mid to A and B slide A. Gotcha. However, that move, quite good. Okay. Uh huh. Gotcha. Uh oh. Ooh, hello. Oh! <laughs> that looked really cool as an ending. Like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Come on now, let's be real. He went to wind up the fucking charge for his 6-6-A as it's on the way to me. I cut right through that shit like a samurai, son. Damn, get out of here. That looked hella cool. It's my personal headcanon that Cervantes uses his gun like Dante, using power to make ammo. Otherwise, it just wouldn't make sense in usage. For sure. You take a, you take a little bit of that soul energy and you throw it in the, the size of a, a bullet round. I love that so much. Oh, yeah. That's, well, otherwise he would have infinite ammo. <laughs> and you're like, wait, how? How this guy? How this guy have all the all the ammo? Uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's minus enough to punish. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Just keep him at bay with short, quick strikes. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got me. I hadn't even thought about it, but I love reading people's head cannons. Just give Servi a Mac 10. Damn. He said, I believe that is cannon. I would believe that. Otherwise, how's he making all this ammo? That would be that would be my thing with it. It's like, well, yeah, otherwise, all this ammunition. Where's he getting it? No, no, we're all super. Oh, I tried to resist impact that, but it didn't give me a resist. I don't think you know the correct move for this. And I hope you stay blocking. Yo, you didn't. Oh, well. <laughs> what a guy, this guy. Cool. Hmm. Yes, raw super. Yeah, burning, burning the two bars. He's burning the bars. It's happening. I can see it. I can see it happening. He burnt two bars a meter to lose. Which is not a good usage of your meter whatsoever, if we're really actually talking about it. You should definitely consider, instead, to use some uh, use some meter wisely. Ooh, hello. Oh, that'll give me sure a blade. <coughs> Bonus damage because I caught him from the side, so I get a little bit of, a little extra sprinkly sprink. Hello. Everyone falls for it. Don't feel bad about it. One, two, three, Aru. Clap, clap. Put my sword away. God damn! Hella. Oop, a little too far, but that's fine. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh. I tried to armor through whatever option he threw up. Turns out that was the option he threw up. Ooh, my first vertical missed. 
Let's go. I love first vertical missing. Oh, hello. Oh, he got me from the side. Uh oh. Now you're dead. You committed. You committed to a high commitment option, despite the fact that I had meter. And you had two bars. If you're gonna commit to a high commitment option, make that option a uh make that option something that's minus that's not minus 14, or something that can't be ducked or stepped. Like a soul charge. Go soul charge, go soul charge A slide B. Hold that shit, go K option, and then just a bunch of things start making sense from there. Uh-huh, here we go. There we go. Big Maggio. Lightning Joe DiMaggio. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't break that. Incredible. Ooh, really? I guess I just jailed into itself? That's crazy. Okay. Gotcha. Nothing, really? Alright, well I guess I'll just run up and kick him in the foot. I guess to hell with me! Run up and kick the foot! Uh-huh. Yeah, every every Siegfried wants to do the same thing where they just I'm back turned, let me go for option instead of let me block or get out of it. They just want to stay back turned in option. Which is not a bad thing to want, but eventually you're gonna have to figure out like, yeah, I gotta I gotta do something here. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, I got caught by that. Let's go. Uh, you're minus. There you go. Luckily, I have a lot of experience in the Siegfried matchup because I fight Thrills all the fucking time. <laughs> and I used to fight other Siegfrieds back when Calibre had any Siegfried players whatsoever. Every Siegfried player gave up on the game or picked up a different character. <laughs> Yoink! Oh no, he doesn't actually get up with anything. Alright. Not fast enough there, I'm not. Oh, hello. Oh, not fast enough that one option either. What do I get him with here? Grab? No. Not grab. Uh-oh. Yoink. Uh-huh, yoink, yoink. Hmm. I don't think he gets anything huge off of that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, that'll kill though. On Xbox, Sid Freeze are a dime a dozen. Yeah, on PC, there's no so fucking, there's no such thing as a as a PC Siegfried. <laughs> I feel like a lot of that is probably due to the fact that Siegfrieds do really, really well in a lag environment, and PC does its best to not have as much of that. So like, you're just straight up not getting laggy people. That's gonna punish you. <laughs> Puts him into guts mode, and then all I have to do is make one more hyper accurate guess. There we go. There's my hyper accurate guess. <laughs> Going for a stance option into uh into cancel out stance option into back grab because I get my lethal hit. What about scavenger or linkors? Linkors is an Amy main, and scavenger doesn't really play that often anymore. Scavenger is a hell of a hell of a Siegfried player. He just doesn't play very often anymore. Welcome to the Sieg destroys my talent. Sieg destroys a lot of people. The only problem with Siegfried is uh, he's not very safe a character on block. Linkors used to play Sig, yeah, like a year and a half ago. <laughs> he's a really really good Siegfried player. I'm not talking shit about him. He's an incredibly good and competent player. He just doesn't play Siegfried anymore. He plays Amy. But yeah, he's a sick he's a Amy and Setska now, from what I can tell. Yeah, exactly. Who teaches Caliber? Uh, who's the best Caliber teacher? Danarai and Ao Boom are the best Caliber teachers. Father Ramon's pretty good at teaching it, but the way that he the way that he teaches it isn't beginner friendly. He teaches people from intermediate and higher, because if you don't have a basic knowledge of the game, the way that he words things is a little difficult to understand. Uh. I could teach you absolute basic caliber. I can teach you basic and intermediate, but I can't teach you advanced high level caliber. I don't play advanced high level caliber. 
I just play big funsies with my big fun characters for big fun. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Everybody falls for it once, except for Water Titty, because you've seen all my streams. Gotcha. Ooh, like me. All right, this will give me a lot of meter. As much as I hate to reverse ledge like this, it do give me a lot of meter. There we go. I can teach small caliber? Yeah, all the old people. <laughs> that reminds me, all the old people can teach you small caliber like crazy. I'll teach you priority caliber. You want to make big guesses? Here's how you make them and when to make them. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Ooh. Ooh, lag. We in there, baby. Let's go. I'm probably dead. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn, he got me. I know basic universal shit and I can teach Amy and that's it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people... That's that's how a lot of people actually are, realistically, is they're just like, I can teach you my character. I can teach you my character. If it's anything else, I don't know about it. And we're just going to go with that. Go out, bi you know, build off of that assumption that we've got one of those in the bag. Hello. Whiffed grab into immediate uh, GI is definitely an option to go for. I feel like when Water Titty doesn't know what he's supposed to do with his character, he defaults to, I'm going to do grabs. Because grabs are universal across all characters, so I'll just do a grab. And I'm just like, man, he was playing neutral so well until he started spamming grabs. And then I just start crouching. And you're like, ah, I guess we're over here then. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Gotcha. See, because now he's just doing grabs and walking over and over, and if I just do some of that shit, it's impossible for him to actually prevent me from taking a turn or doing anything. Okay. Okay. Like, look at this, bro. <laughs> like, hit 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 a button that isn't just grabbing and stepping. And then then we'll figure out there we go, you did a couple of lows in there. Alright. In a low, another grab, and then you're dead. See what I mean? You gotta stop being nervous. Your nervousness should be <laughs> jabs and guarding. Your nervousness should not be stepping and doing throws. Because every single throw in the game, every single throw in the game that basic roster characters all have access to is an 18 frame horizontal high. All I have to do is dodge. All I gotta do is just crouch. Ooh, and then we cancel jabs in the house. Okay. Ooh. Scion, I was the first one to call it, but Kajur didn't see it. Oh. Were you before Pants? I was under the assumption that Pants was the first one to call additional. Okay. Oh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> there we go. I got him nervous. I was before Water Titty Man? Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> then I guess you're after Water Titty Man. Uh huh. Alright, sidestep is an option. A lot of people have it available. Alright, he's gonna go into the spam move because Sophie's only know how to do that spam attack. There we go. There we go. It's not your turn. It's not your turn, homie. It's not your turn. It's not your turn. Pants can play, and if you're still on later, I'll play. Gotcha. Okay. Well, my apologies, then. I actually genuinely didn't see you. Oh, I thought he was going to, like, try to do a grab into it. He do grab often. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Ooh. Good duck. 
Oh, I tried to jump that like a big dummy. That'll kill. Woo! There we go. We have fun here? Hell yeah. What's up, Creeper Ninja? How you doing, baby? He goes, hey. Okadan or Edgemaster, who would make a better roommate for Algol and Zasalamel? Shh. Uh, I don't know. I think Okadan's dumb, because I don't like his big dumb owl head and owl beak. So I would pick Edgemaster, because I think Edgemaster's artwork from SE5 is actually some of the best SE5 artwork. I would love to see Edgemaster with an actual original fighting style in a future title, where he's not just the clone character. Oh, jab jab into continuation. Well, this option will give me Shura Blade. But I would say Edge Master. I personally think Edge Master is much cooler. Uh huh. Okay. Ooh, even with the swerve up, I could break that. Oh, I didn't need to break it. He didn't even go for the continuation. Yeah, I know how to get out of that, bro. <laughs> I respect that you, I respect your balls and going for it, but I know how to stop that. You just get behind it and then block the shockwave. Uh, that might kill if God loves me. Almost. Oh, well, God loves me, but Bandai Namco sure fucking doesn't. Hello, my foot was, I guess, close enough. Ha! Uh, I know like two Sophie combos, that's all you need. She's a neutral monster, you don't really need two, two heavy too heavy combos or heavy execution unless you're trying to get really, really fancy. Same thing with Mitsu. Realistically, the only big execution barrier you have to Mitsu is trying to land a people's KIB in a fucking three or four bar environment. That's the shit that's gonna kill you. Everything else, eh, not that bad. There we go. I'll just do one of these. Okay. Ooh, break forward. Oh, he never, he never goes for the continuation. Oh, he got me with the shockwave, though. Hi, friend. What's cracking, uh, Tala El Kamikaze? How you doing? Are you playing on PC? I am indeed. I am indeed a PC player. Ooh, good shit. I can get underneath it. I'm gonna have to do something to open him up. But he always does that move, and Sophie 2 b is godlike for having a tech jump and tech crouch on it. And leaves her airborne in recovery. <laughs> So it's a little difficult to try to punish accurately. I'm gonna have to figure out how I can do that reliably. Oh, hello, not me. Not me. No mames. Got you in a ring out. Cool, that's how I make it. <laughs> You've been streaming for three years? I have not been streaming for three years. Actually, uh, I've been, mm, I kind of streamed a little bit, not very like, not very seriously for quite a while, but I started taking streaming very seriously about a year and a half ago, where I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna grow my channel. And, uh, it's been going well so far. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. You now have horrible guard, so he's gonna try not to guard. In trying not to guard, I got him. All right. You know, th th see, that's the thing I'm telling, I'm talking about, right there. Water Titty, you notice what happened right there? I stayed crouching the whole time because I'm like, he's not gonna do a launcher. Crouch got hit. Crouch got hit. Stayed crouching. You ran up and did a high. Forget doing a throw. You ran up and did a high attack. You have to look at throws the way you look at a high attack because that isn't high, that is a high attack. It is a breakable but unblockable horizontal high that's 18 frames. That's how you have to look at throws. The only time that type of thing works is with like Asta or Jean Gua or Cassandra or anybody who has mix up throws where they could go into crouch grabs, right? You can't do, you can't do that specific type of setup that you were trying to go for. I have a question. I just bought it. The, I just bought the game on Steam, and my PC's not strong enough. Oh, I can't read the rest of that message because it's hidden by some shit over there. I decided to put it in 720p, but when I close the game and open it up, it defaults in default resolution again. Uh, are you saving the? Are you doing it from in-game, or if are you running it? You're running it on Steam. You're running Caliber through in-game, and then you're adjusting in-game. Yeah. Do you have like GeForce experience or anything that allows you to uh, modify? 
the way the game looks resolution wise outside of the game because i would highly recommend geforce experience because then you can set all of your default settings through there and then soul Calibur every single time you open it up will just have the same settings that you left it on but i've never interacted the issue that you have so the issue where the game doesn't save those settings i have not run into that issue but that's because i run the game through geforce so i don't know if geforce mitigates that entirely or if the issue is just less likely to occur I'm not entirely not entirely sure All right, we gotta stop him from stepping or doing slow moves. Just do some of those over and over. <laughs> and then we hit him low. You see this? G-Force, yes. To my knowledge, it's called it's called NVIDIA, NVIDIA G-Force, N-V-I-D-I-A. It is, I believe, completely free. And it's a uh, software that allows you to mess with your in-game resolution and things like that. I believe it's completely free. I did not pay for it. So either one of my friends did, or there's some other shenanigan going on, because I didn't pay for that. Shit! Oh. Would have been cool, though. Alright, get away from me, you. Oh, no. Who? Damn! GeForce Experience is an NVIDIA program that lets you change your game settings. Yes, and it also lets you change... Uh, <coughs> it lets you change, like, all kind of shit. Your V-Sync... Oh, he got me out of the sky with that! Incredible. That's crazy. I didn't. I cannot believe he got me out of the sky with that. That's in the wild! That's only if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, King Ali knows that for sure there. I have an NVIDIA card. Ah, oh, perfect. Then you're in there. Hello. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh. Playing a very close game here. Right up until I grab him. Oh, right up until I grab him. Oh, right up until I grab him. I'm downloading it. Thank you very much for the data. Of course, son. Um... It's not that. It's not that. It's not that difficult. How far down the list am I from getting my ass beat? Well, that was the first to ten with Water Titty. <coughs> Good shit, Water Titty. My only, my only actual advice would be, um, when you get nervous, you stop blocking and you do grabs, which works with Asta, but does not work with anyone else. If they show love, I'ma show it back. If the catch is too small, I'ma throw it back. I've done a lot, but I ain't got a lot to show for that. Alright, yeah, let's do that again. If they show love, I'ma show it back.